will tell you how you can install all the ha hacking tools into your Linux system. So what we will do is we will install them all. You can see I have all the tools that the Kali Linux has. You can see I am running Mint 18.1 Serena. When I first installed it, I had crashed my system because what I did is I had run the upgrade command. So there is a script to do this which is called Potlin. So what it does is it edits our source.list file and changes it to same as the Kali Linux source.list. You can see the source.list file in the etc app folder here is the source.list file and it's the source. When I ran this command the system thinks that it is a Kali Linux system. So when I ran this command or this command there was, was a broken dependency of the genome panel because the Kali Linux default is desktop environment is genome. When you start this recommend to not to upgrade the system or you will crash the system. There will be a broken dependency and you cannot fix that broken genome dependency which cannot be fixed and you need to reinstall the system. These are the steps. In first step we will call we will make a backup of our source.list file so that it, uh, the, this file will be become a Kali Linux source.list and this is our original Ubuntu or Linux Mint file then we will install git then we will we'll clone the script from the github Then we copy it to the user bin Kotlin. Then change its mode. Then we will start the Kotlin script. So this all will be in the description. You can just copy it. So let's start. First copy, make a copy and paste it. So it got. Then we will need to install the git, paste it, so it's already the newest version in my PC, then we will clone it, so I want to clone it in my desktop, so cd, the desktop, then I will clone it. Hit enter so you can see the Kotlin script is here it is cloning and uh, it's done okay now we will copy it the Python script to the user bin folder so that it can be used while uh, just the Kotlin then we will change the mode okay then we will start the port so here is the script first step we need to add the repositories so press enter and one then it say add kali linux repositories press one hit enter so it will take time now it has added the Kali Linux repositories. Let's see it in our source.lists file. Here is the source.list. So you can see the Kali Linux repository has been added. Added by Kotlin, Kataline. Okay. Then you need to update. takes time so when it got completed you need to go back and uh, to go back type BACK hit enter so now you need to go to second view categories enter. 
now if you want a specific hacking tools like information gathering or wireless attacks or sniffing you need to choose that if you want them all you need to press the zero button press zero button and and hit enter it will download all the tools and install it in your system so when it got installed you need to go back now there are two three and four now if you want this type of menu you need to install the kali menu which is number four and if you want something which is like this applets classic menu indicator is like an applet so what is an applet you can see the battery indicator and this network speed and the applet will be present here so when you click here you will see a menu here it is very useful when you are using unity desktop which has dash so if you are cinnamon and uh, if you don't want to change your default the default menu items so you can use the classic menu indicator so you need to just press the third button and install if you want to install press y hit enter and wait for some minute press enter to continue it is adding the ppa now it's installing it don't do this or you will crash your system because the source dot list file has these two lines present and because of this you will get a genome error because we are not using genome in our systems as the kali linux default desktop so before doing this you need to delete this there is a option present in add kali linux repositories and update press one and you will find that remove all kali linux repositories press three and it has been deleted all the repositories now you can see the source dot list file by entering four and you will see that only the your default linux repository is present now you can do this upgrade and all the things